five, four, three, two, one. All right, welcome back to Stevie's P.O. Box, episode 13, folks. I just checked my P.O. Box today, and I had some packages. I'm about to head out to Hawaii with my mom, uh, my brother Bobby, and his girlfriend Kalila, so I wanted to get another video upload this week before I went out there to the islands. So, just to update, um, I just uh, put up... Uh, a free album, Collage of the Mirage, on my Kwangu YouTube page, or my YouTube page under Kwangu Music, Stevie Weeby Music, or whatever. Um, and the reason why I did that is because I tried to put it up on Spotify through my distro kid, but there was like a metadata mix up, and I didn't want to deal with those people because they were horrible with getting back to me anyway. So uh, I just figured. That, I would uh, put it on my YouTube channel, Stevie Weeby, I mean YouTube.com slash Stevie Weeby under, just look under the music playlist, and just because I wanted to give you all something to listen to um, while um, I was uh, finishing up my, uh, the new EP called Ode to My Pops, which I'm finished with, and I'm gonna, I'm just mixing it down right now, I'm, wait, I'm waiting to link up with Eddie Kim from Mongchi. Because he's a sound engineer, he's great with audio, so I wanted him to uh, check the levels or whatnot. But anyways, let's start with uh, the first uh, package or letter from uh, Tim Lee, all right? Here we go. This is from Tim Lee. Dear Steve... Thank you for being a light upon the world. I've learned a lot from your podcast. I will pray for you and your family. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Tim Lee. Oh, he's a Korean cat too. Much love, man. 감사합니다. Uh, 나는 한국말 못해요. I just said uh, hello. Um, I can't speak Korean very well. And the, the card reads, uh, The magic of Christmas never ends. And it's, Greatest of gifts are family and friends. Thank you, Tim. Much love to you and your family as well. I'll show you the card, right? There's an owl and a, kind of like a cardinal bird on it. There you go. Thank you, Tim. All right. Next, uh, we have a package from my man, Marcelo Miltier. Okay. Um, let's see what we have. I, I kind of pre-opened these. I didn't look, but just so I didn't like spend 100 hours trying to open up the packages i didn't look but here we Ooh, it's a shirt hold up it's a shirt but let me read the letter first and some stickers whoa it says d b droom beethoven's konnichiwa here's my podcast all right let me uh plug that real quick i don't know if you could see that yeah because i have an auto set here but it's a cool sticker. It kind of reminds me of like the Shepherd Fairy style. All right. Hi. Hey, Stevie. I started my own podcast called Bedroom Beethoven's. Okay, so that's what it is. Bedroom Beethoven's. Check that out, folks. And as David Cho can at least attest, he didn't think you'd do one. As my friends probably thought the same. Most shows don't make it. Past episode eight, it's a lot of work, as you know. That focuses on having conversations with music producers. I've had, I've had on Eli, Rex Dizzy, Red Medic, and of course many more. I mentioned those because I found your show. You interviewed them as well, and we share a lot of '90s hip hop. Uh, we share a love of '90s hip hop. I'm writing you to give you um, some show stickers and a T-shirt. Hopefully, you give my podcast a listen. You're, of course, not obligated to wear the swag, but wanted to show you my appreciation. As podcast brethren, we got to support each other. Much love from Texas. Hell yeah. Uh, keep up the great work. Marcelo from BedroomBeethovens.com. Everyone check that out. BedroomBeethovens.com. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. A flash. Let me show the... Uh, here's some more stickers, too. Boom. And let me show you the, the shirt. Boom. 
Bedroom Beethoven's. Check that out. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Marcelo. Definitely check that out. Definitely support Marcelo in Texas there. Um, I would like to hop on your podcast too because I've never been to Texas. I got some family out there. Uh, Sean Skellington from Necroelectric. Shout out to Sean. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd like to, you know, there's some listeners out there um, that listen to mine that are in Texas. I think Austin or San Antonio or something. I, I'd, li- I'd love to go out there. And as you all know, rest in peace, Daniel Johnston. Uh, he's from uh, Austin, Texas as well. So I'd like to uh, check that out. So definitely ch- um, support uh, Bedroom Beethoven's. Okay. <laughs> All right, the next one is from a man, Ryan Kirby. Okay. Ooh. Oh, dang. He's got the Monchi zine in here. What? Hold up. Stevie, Kirby from San Francisco here. Enclosed is a package of some stuff for you. Also, also is my Monchi collection. Could you please sign and mail it back to me? Underneath is a prepaid envelope. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. All you have to do is drop it in a mailbox. Thanks for all the videos and all the music. Kirby. All right. So, yeah. So, this is the stuff that he sent. It's uh, uh, the, Monchu's second album, and it's, it's the zine on there. I'm on the zine, and that's the zine that they made. I'll definitely, yeah, I'll sign this and then get it back to you. Let me see the... Okay, so he enclosed that envelope back. Too. No doubt, Ryan. I'll do that. Okay, so I'll do that for you. And, um, ooh. Dang, he hooked up some Mike and Ike's. How'd you know, man? I've been eating these, like, uh, on a weekly basis. Uh, I get them at, uh, I go to Rite Aid. I get the, um, these, these are delicious, but I get the blue one, the blue package, too. But these are delicious. I'm gonna definitely, um. I'll probably eat these tonight. Mmm, Mike and Ike. Sour delicious. Ooh. There you go. Little Jim Carrey in the mask. Yeah. I'm going to add this to uh, the Aladdin and the Frankenstein I have on my fridge. Okay. Dang, Ryan coming through. For those of you who haven't seen E.T., beautiful movie. That's when my whole infatuation with uh, Drew Barrymore. I was a kid, too, but I'm like, oh, my God, Drew Barrymore. And then it just went on and on to Firestarter and all kinds of other movies, you know. Dove, I can't get enough soap. Thanks for keeping me fresh. Mm. Here we go. Um... Oh my gosh, it's the line from the uh, Wizard of Oz. Great movie. Great movie. Timeless movie. Assholes live forever. Hopefully I won't. Silence of the Lambs, great movie. Great movie. All right. Dang, he's hooking it up. RoboCop. Blu-ray. This is all Blu-ray. RoboCop. And Secret Window. Johnny Johnny Depp. Secret Window. Thank you, Mr. Kirby. Coming through, huh? And what last but not least, um Eye of the Tiger Tattoo SF. You can't see it. it's a tiny pin. It has a line on it. Thank you for all the knickknacks and great stuff. And I'll, I'll make sure I sign this stuff and uh, get it out to you before I head out to the islands. Okay, and I'm going to save Daryl D's back again, folks. But I'm going to save it for the end because you know it's going to be good. It's always good. But speaking of good, look at this. It's n- no other than Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. I love that. I might, I might make that the thumbnail. It's uh, Tony Sassiope, uh from Iowa Wrestling. The, he's the heavyweight for uh, 
Iowa, okay? And before I open this, I want to give a, you guys an uh, update. Um, I just saw the Penn State versus Iowa wrestling duel. What a barn burner. Damn it. That was a damn good wrestling meet. Um, some matches that stand out was, um, yeah, Marinelli's match and uh, a Joseph. Yeah, that was a, that was a barn burner. Um, and then the other one was, um, uh, Michael, uh, the camera versus the camera versus, uh, Mark, uh, was that? Yeah. Mark Hall, dude, I must've seen that match 50 times, 40 to 50 times. I can't, I just can't get enough. Cause that match was just, you could tell because it was, uh, one and two, uh, it was, they're ranked one and two, right. And they're both undefeated, right. Mark Hall rarely loses. The last time I've seen him lose was Zahid Valencia in last year's uh, NCAA finals. But uh, Iowa barely etched it out. The reason this is this is when I knew this is when I knew it was going to be a, a really good dual meet is when uh, the 133 pound match uh, Austin DeSanto versus um, Roman Bravo Young. And uh, DeSanto's on a tear, you know what I mean? He's really um, stepped it up since he transferred over um, to Iowa. And I know he was highly recruited by Spencer Lee. Um, but uh, that first takedown where um, I think um, I think DeSanto was on Roman Bravo uh, Young's legs and he tweaked his knee out and got him in a cradle. And I think that moment, his knee really tweaked out. And yeah, something happened where uh, he had to basically forfeit out of the, the entire match. But um, I'm, I'm really um, interested in seeing what happens in March. That's when the um, NCAA wrestling finals are. And uh, let's see what happens. I, I, I predict that that will be the finals. I think... Uh, yeah, I think that'll be the finals. But definitely watch that match on YouTube. Uh, once you watch this, go go type in uh, Iowa versus Penn State uh, wrestling dual meet. All right, let's see what Aaron has. Steve, recently you made a list of your top five document documentaries. Here are mine. The King of Kong 2008, American Movie 1999. Dude, that's one of my favorites too. American Movie was the shit. Crumb 1994, that's a definitely, that's another one of mine also. Bus 174, haven't seen that. Uh, Bus 174 and Little Dieter Needs to Fly 1997. The DVD I've sent is not technically a documentary, but it's some interesting work from one of my favorite movie directors. Enjoy. Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. We always love Aaron here. We were wondering where you were, man. Oh, Michael Gondry. One of my favorites, too. I remember seeing, when I worked at Amoeba, we sold a bunch of these. Michael Gondry. Okay, let me read some some stuff. He did the White Stripes videos, Chemical Brothers, Foo Fighters, Bjork, Hyper Ballad, uh, Like a Rolling Stone, another, other Bjork videos, A Massive Attack. Yeah, this is awesome. There, there's also a Spike Lee one as well. Or I mean, not Spike Lee, Spike Jones. Sorry, I know I get a little tongue twisty up in here. But, dude, this is awesome. All this is awesome. We love you, um, Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. Oh, one last thing, because since, uh, you know, because this really sparked a lot of um, memories. Um, I just booked our first alumni Poway wrestler, okay? 
Jesse Taylor. All right. He's now a MMA fighter, but someone commented on my uh, YouTube or Instagram, and I'm like, they're like, you should get so and so, Poway, and I'm like, what? I didn't even know there's a dudes that were in MMA that were from Poway, and then I looked him up, and I'm like, okay, that's gonna be a good one. That's gonna be a walk down memory lane. All right, there's gonna be a lot of. We're going to go deep into the whole wrestling program to the uh, Slammers Club programs. And it's going to be it's going to be really I, I need it. OK, for closure, you know, because I spent a lot of years um, wrestling since I was in sixth grade uh, at 65 pounds. And then I was cutting weight to stay at 100 pounds throughout my whole uh, wrestling career but yeah and I, I i always choked at the state tournament you all already know my story but I, hey i won the cif uh, san diego section okay rich salo could vouch for me right sean malley a couple other my teammates okay this one is from maddie and m gravand Steves, hello from Canada. Hell yeah. We got love from for Canada here at the Steve Weeby Show. This is Maddie, a.k.a. Gravin. Sorry, Gravin, okay? This is Maddie, a.k.a. Gravin. Thank you for your support of independent music, but more importantly, thank you for your positive spirit and desire to bring people together. It comes through in your sample-rich tunes and in your podcasting. Love always. Love always. Bless Bless you, pal. Enjoy the tunes. Love, Maddie. Okay, let me let me flash. Ooh, grabbing ears. Whoa, look at how dope the Digipack looks. Grabbing ears, produced by Jim Bryce and recorded at Fix Hinge Studios. All words of music by Maddie Mc McKechnie. Grabbing. All right, this is beautiful packaging. Man, Digipack, good for you. Hey, holler at me. Tell me where you got these made. I want to. This I like the way this looks. Um, let me let me just go down your song list real quick. Okay, the first song there's it's a, like basically EP, Legend of You first song, Night Sparks, Sloan, Real Rain, Hymno, and the last song is called Years, and that's the name of the EP, Gravin' Years. Definitely cop that on iTunes. Or Spotify, look that up. Gravin years, okay? Holler at me. I want to. The, the packaging is nice on that. That digi pack. I've never gotten a digi pack, but that looks great. All right, so check out Gravin. Uh, Gravin, his music. Um, we're almost done here. We're on our last few. This next one's from Townlathe.com. Hey, Stevie, here's another 7-inch for you. It's a Kwangu track this time. The artwork is by Victor Melendez. I don't know the guy. Just found it online. Hope you like the cut. The cooking with Stevie vids are badass. Fuck Benny <laughs> I actually like eating there. I just can't afford it most of the time. Looking forward to the new EP. Have a great 2020, man. Okay. SS Sang Sangnam. Sangnam. Oh man, this is dope. Wow, look at this. It's one of my songs, my rap songs, called Kermit Needs a Hit, and he made it into a 7-inch. Dude, how cool is that? Dude, that's so cool. Thank you so much. Look how that, and then it has like the Korean flag on there. Look at that. <sighs> so dope. Wow. Man, thank you so much for doing that. That's definitely, I'm never getting rid of that. Man, that's like, yeah, I don't have a lot of my stuff on wax. The only thing I have on wax is the uh, Kwang, the Stevie Weeby album, Kwangu, the one where Dave drew the uh, reptilian cowboy lizard. And that's, I'm on my last two boxes of that. But yeah, that's why, that means a lot, man. Thank you. Wow. Seven inch too. Thank you, man. Sangnam. Hey, holler at me. Tell me, man, because Sangnam, that, that's like a Korean word, I think. Sangnam. Okay, so um, 
this next one is from um, Azule Deals. It's from Vegas, okay? Oh, wow. It's a spatula set. Okay, hold up. Is there any letter? It just says Amazon gift receipt. Send a thank you note. You can learn more. Someone, I guess they've been peeping my uh, cooking videos, huh? Check that out. I got some more cooking videos coming, right? I, I'm not the most like versatile cook, but as you can see, I got a um, just one portable stove, no kitchen, and a fork. You know what I mean? And I'm still making stuff, all right? Got to survive. All right, so we're going to end it with Daryl D., Okay, Daryl, you know we love you here. Um, holler at me too. I wanna, uh, I want you to come out here. I wanna interview you too, man, because uh, I hollered at Vex and um, I hollered at Mestizo, and then on one of the flyers, Mestizo reminded me. He was like, "Dude, Daryl used to book us our first shows in Arizona." I'm like, "Really?" And he's like, "Yeah, you don't remember the Mason Jar sh shows?" And I'm like, "And then it was on the flyers, so man." That's the least I could do, man. Daryl D. Follow him. He's basically a musical expert, awesome DJ, digger, record collector. Okay, so Daryl, this is the way he wrote this one. To Stevie's Daycare, all right? Uh-oh. There's, there's always a letter. You know it's going to be good. Hold up. <sighs> Stevie Weeby. I have a very important question to ask you. Have you ever humiliated? Have you ever been humiliated by a woman? Has a female ever thrown you through a plate glass window? Have you ever been body slammed by a girl? Well, have you, Stevie? I have, Stevie. I have. Some chick just recently put me into a chokehold until I revealed my secret recipe for seasoned beef toast. I'm still in tears about that one. It's only right that you too experience the brutal behavior by the hands of filthy women. Embrace the pain, Stevie, and you will soon be free to explore your coconut hideaway. <laughs> Dirty. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the movie is called Bitch Slap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's only going to get better. Bitch Slap. Unrated. Wow. Okay. We're almost we're almost done with Daryl. He he's just getting warmed up though. Weeb, here's another one of those cult classics we all love. In no time, you will feel like a tough guy and not to be bullied by the neighbor's cat. I still have high hopes that you will focus on becoming a talented R&B singer, but first you must finish your community service and get off of probation. I thought being enlisted in the army would have toughened you up, but I was wrong. So here's something that will make you feel the same way um, Sammy... Dreyfus, Sammy, Drury, Roy Jr. feels. I'm not sure what that is, but you get the point. Until then, have a happy Groundhog's Day. Daryl D. T Tarantino's Planet Terror. You son of a gun, Daryl. <laughs> All right, this is the last one from... Uncle Daryl D. And then he uh, wrote Stevie's Lawn Care in that last one. This one's Stevie Wonder. Stevie Weeby, you have often expressed your love for horror movies. I'm sure you have seen your fair share of blood, gore, guts, and feces. This movie will be right up your alley, even though these types of films have already turned your brain into human excrement. I can guarantee 
that this is the most sadistic, deranged, unhinged, demented, and crazed piece of delusional cinematography ever produced. It has been banned in Asia, South Africa, the West Indies, and Cleveland, Ohio. Please don't watch this alone. Please, Stevie, please. You have been warned. Daryl D. All right, Daryl, let's see what the movie is. Hannah Montana, the movie. You son of a gun. This is not scary. Hannah Montana, the movie. She has the best of both worlds. Now she just has to pick one. Man, I was expecting like Ringo or Exorcist 3. <laughs> That's it for Stevie's P.O. Box. Episode 13. Um... If you want to get involved here, send your packages to uh, 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. With that being said, thanks to everyone for sending your awesome packages. Um, yeah, send stuff if you want to keep if you can't want to keep watching these uh, vlogs. Um, yeah, and have a great uh, weekend, okay? And Daryl, holler at me, man. You need to get out here. One way or another. We need you. All right. Peace.